And we're going to measure wrist um, flexing extension and then radial and ulnar deviation first. So we're going to line up along the long bones uh, in the forearm and we're going to line up with the metacarpal. Okay, so go ahead and bend your hand back this way as far as you can. And it looks like we got about 59 of wrist extension. Okay, then go this way. Okay. Again, we're going to line up along the long bones in the forearm and then the metacarpals in the hand. And we got about 70 of wrist flexion. Okay, and now flat. So now we're going to do radial and ulnar deviation. Go ahead and bend your hand this way. So again, Line up with the long bones and then along the middle finger metacarpal, which is here. Okay, so we got about 43 degrees of ulnar deviation. Okay, this way. Five degrees of radial deviation. Okay, so now we're going to do thumb. So I want you to spread your thumb out this direction as far as you can. So this would be radial abduction of the thumb. So you're going to line up with the metacarpal in the thumb and the metacarpal of index finger, which should place your axis somewhere in the neighborhood of the trapezium. And looks like we got about 56 degrees, okay, now this way, so this would be Palmer abduction, and we got about 45 degrees, okay, um, we can measure our thumb flexion extension, so extension, let's say she's got pretty near zero, or if I come off to the side and use the shadows here, starting at five, and then here, smidge of hyperextension, so this would be about a minus seven, okay, and then bend as much as you can at both joints, okay. So that's about 60, so our MP of the thumb, we've got about five degrees to 60 degrees, and the IP, I'm going to go over the top and kind of use the shadow method, kind of lining up with my, my lines here. Okay, so we have about 67, so that was a minus 7, so that was hyperextension minus 7 to about 67. Okay, then let's just do index, let you come in, in as much as you can, all joints come on down. Okay. Well, actually, we're going to do our extension first. So, let's see. A little bit of hyperextension here and here. Okay. Um, actually, that's close enough to zero, a couple degrees off. At the PIP, at about a minus seven, and then the DPM will call that zero. Okay, so go ahead and flex as much as you can. Okay, so this, okay, come on into your into your palm as much as you can. Kind of get everything else out of the way. There you go. So if we do this going over the top, okay, so looking at it, it looks pretty close to 90, maybe a smidge less. So we got about 85, 86. Here, of course, we're looking at obviously more than 90. So we got about 105. And I'm going to kind of use the silhouette here. Can you get down in here and see? Can you see right over the top? I'm using the silhouette. So it looks like about 60, 60 degrees at the DIP. Okay. 
for wrist flexion and extension. So go ahead and show me wrist extension. Okay. Keep your elbow bent so that we're nice and lateral here. And then you have to come between the fingers here. Okay, so it looks like we got about 670, 65, about 67. Okay, this way. Here we have about about 70 going over the top. Okay. 